Hello, this is Kathy from kmberk.com. Um, I'm actually designing or helping a friend uh, design a business card today on vistaprint.com. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that together. Uh, this again is for my client and friend, so everything will pretty much be geared to her business card, but you can go ahead and follow all along and um, design your own as well. So we're going to go ahead into Vistaprint and sign in. And from there, you're going to go over to where it says business cards. Okay, you're going to go to premium business cards. And here you have several selections that you can make. Today we're going to concentrate on browse our designs and click on get started right here. We're going to ignore the window that pops up because we actually don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little orange X that you see on the top right of this tiny little window. And then I'm going to go over to the top right of the screen underneath my account where it says other design methods right here. And I'm going to click on start with a blank template because that's what we want to do today. So I go ahead and I click on that. And here we have our blank design. And as you can see, I already have the information filled out. Uh, so what you would do, Helena, is, um, and I'll be referring to Helena because, again, this video is actually for her. Um, I have sent you the information that you need in your um, attached notepad, so go ahead and use that or feel free to go ahead and type it in. Um, but do definitely copy you know, your email from here by highlighting, clicking Control C, um, and then pasting it into the box that's required. Actually, let's go ahead and do that ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and remove all this information real quick. Let me just go ahead and do that. So we're going to start from scratch. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the full name. And again, you can either type it in, Helena. See, this is one of the reasons why I like to paste things in, Gorka. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and copy this from the actual um, notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and hi highlight this. And I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard. So hold the Control button, then hit C. It's copied. Click into the box that I want it to go to. Okay, C right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit Control and V. Victor, okay, V for Victor, so Control V, and that's pasted. So then I'm going to go back to the notepad, go ahead and grab the number. So again, I'm going to highlight it with my mouse, hit the Control button, and hit the C button. I've copied it, click back into the box, hit the Control button, hit the V as in Victor button. And I'm going to keep on doing that with the rest of the information that I have. So highlight, copy, paste, highlight, copy, paste, and highlight, copy, and paste. So that is all set. So now I don't want the rest of this information here, so this blue button that says remove sample text is what I want to click on next to remove all of that extra text. So I've clicked that and it's all gone. Right below that button there's actually an advanced editing feature which is what we want to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link which allows me to go ahead and make changes that I need to make and as you can see it brings up this nice little ribbon up on top this little bar that allows you to make the changes that you need so right now I'm gonna go ahead and double click on Helena Gorka her name because I want to unanchor this box so I go ahead and I click this close that button or close that window and I'm gonna double click on the bottom one and I'm gonna get go ahead and close this you know window again and now I'm gonna go ahead and click again on Helena and now that that's selected, I'm going to hold my shift key so I can select the name, you know, the box underneath. So I click that. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go of my mouse and my buttons, and I'm going to click on the um, downward arrow button on my keyboard. And I'm just going to space this down until I think it looks good, which I've already done this, and I found that lining it up so that this top piece is lined up with the bottom of this uh, address line 2 it actually ends up working out quite nicely so I'm just going to give that one tiny little click down more okay there we go so that's done for there then I'm going to go ahead and select these again click then hold the shift button and click 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 while I'm still holding the shift button let go of the shift button let go of the mouse go back to my up and down arrows and I'm going to click the up arrow I'm going to press the up arrow ten times one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry for having to take that breath there, but I was running out of air. <laughs> so since I already have these selected, I'm going to hold my Shift key again, and I'm going to select this one because we're going to make these all the same font. The fonts that we've selected for Helena are Futura Book. So I go ahead and I click up where it says Georgia. I click on select, uh, See All. I bring my mouse over, and I either drag this bar down by clicking and dragging, or I just click on the white space or this little blue button down here. I like clicking on the white space. So I'm going to click on the white space. There's Futura Book. The font is already the size that I want it to be, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now over to the right, there is the font color. You can either click on the button or you can click on the drop down arrow. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow because I want to change the colors and I want to enter my own color uh, choice. So I'm going to click on more colors. And Helena, again, I've sent this to you in your um, <clears throat> in your um, notepad. Sorry. So down here on the bottom where it says body, okay, you're going to see that these are the colors that we're going to use. So the first one will be the blue where it says cyan. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not very good at pronouncing those names. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put zero, and then magenta will be 15, yellow 41, and black 90. So zero, 15, 41, 90. So 15, 41, and 90. And this creates that brown that we have on your website. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That's done. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Helena Gorka. And I'm going to again go back up here to where it says text and where it says Georgia. Select all. Scroll down to where it says calligraphic or calligraphic uh, 421. And I'm going to select that. I don't want this at a 9 because it's too close to the size of the rest of the text, so I'm going to make this a size 12 font. And of course it made it a little too large and now it's kind of you know covering up the uh, box underneath it, but we're going to worry about that after we've made our color change. So we're going to go back up here to where it says font color. Again, click the drop down arrow, click on more colors, and again in your notepad you have the color choices right here so it's 42 in the first box 30 71 and 5 in the other boxes so 42 30 71 and 5 and I'm gonna make sure that that's correct 42 30 71 and 5 and that's the green that we've chosen I think on your website it's fairly close to it so we go ahead and we click on OK and that's done and okay it's already bolded which is what I wanted to see so now we're gonna go ahead and click off that so click anywhere where there's white space and right where the yoga family constellation work is we're gonna click that box again and bring that down about 10 spaces by again selecting it, letting go of the mouse, and now pressing your down arrow key on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That should be good. Yep, and that looks pretty good, so we're going to leave that alone. So that is now done. What we're going to do for now is we're going to go ahead and hit the save button so that we have this saved in case anything should happen. Okay. And again, you just click up where it says right here, save this document. And now we're ready to go ahead and insert her logo. So we're going to go up to the uh, blue ribbon again, and where it says Insert Image, we're going to go ahead and click on the image, or click on that button to find the image. So here we go ahead and um, click on Choose File to find the file. You should know where your files are. I do know where Helena's is, but I need to see it in thumbnail view so I know which one I'm selecting. So here we go. And again, make sure that your um, images are at least at 300 dpi, otherwise you're going to end up being fuzzy and not good print quality. So this is all set. I ha don't have anything that I need, need to do here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Finish button, because this is where I want to make my change. So I'm going to click, drag it up to the top, and put it right about there. Uh, yeah, right there, so that we've got some pretty equal spacing right here, and actually it's not quite that equal, so right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the bottom right um, box, and I'm going to click and drag, and it looks a little fuzzy, but it's going to adjust. I'm going to click and drag till it pretty much fills about the same amount of space, and then I let go. And see how that adjusted nicely? So that is actually all set. Now I'm going to go back to the image button and I'm going to get her photo, her uh, por uh, portrait. 
So again, I'm going to go to my thumbs, and where is that photo? Right here. And again, I'm not going to do anything here once it's done uploading, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on Finish and make my change here. I'm going to click, drag it down to where I want it, and I'm going to click on the top left button and click and drag down till it's off of the text. Then I'm going to click off, and that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click the Save button again in the top right there, or top left. Click OK. And this is actually done. What I do at this point um, is I go ahead and I close out because I usually wait until Vistaprint has a really good deal. At that point, then I go ahead and I click on the deal in my email and open up uh, my account that way. That way the deal is automatically applied to my account. And what you would do is, once it's open, I can't remember which window it brings you to, but you can actually click on the top right area here where it says My Account next to the cart and it will take you to this window that shows you know various settings and your portfolio so when you click on either the portfolio link up top here or the portfolio uh, button down here it'll take you to where you need to go and from there you go ahead and you just select which one you want you can click on the preview button or you can just go ahead and place your order or you can make edits right here I generally like to go ahead and get a preview and see if this is the actual one I want to work on or order and then I go from there so again you would either click the edit to make any changes that you need to make here or just go ahead and order and get your cards and that's what we have for today um, if you have any questions you can go ahead and post them on my um, website wherever you found this uh, whether it's YouTube Facebook or my actual blog and I will go ahead and answer you the best that I can and thank you for listening I hope that uh, this was helpful to you and again uh, this is Kathy from KM Burke Website Design, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.